This is Heartrepreneur Radio, maximizing your personal and business results by leading with your heart. With your host, Terry Levine. Listen every week as Terry tackles the topics that will help you become a successful heart centered entrepreneur. Be sure to read the blog posts at www.heartrepreneur.com slash blog. Come back often and add this show to your favorite RSS feed or subscribe in iTunes. You can also follow Terry on Twitter at Mentor Terry and on Facebook.com slash Heartrepreneur Terry Levine. And now here's Terry. Hi, Heartrepreneurs. Welcome back. Here we are at Heartrepreneur Radio, Heartrepreneur TV. And I'm really glad that you've come back to join us and that you're really looking and how you can create more value in your business. That's what entrepreneurs do. We look to serve our clients, our customers, our patients in an even bigger way using our skills, our expertise, and our talent, and to make a bigger and bigger impact. So I have a guest that's going to help you today, and I think you're gonna be fascinated by my guest. My guest is Dane Maxwell. He calls himself a serial entrepreneur, and he's taken his business from mere ideas to seven figure companies and listen to this within a very brief period of five years literally he's gone on to create over 15 millionaires with his teachings so you could be the next one pay attention he specializes in helping underdogs start successful businesses and he's also the author of a book start from zero and that book teaches entrepreneurs, just like you, heartrepreneurs, a way to build businesses quickly, without the risk, and from scratch. And after its release, Start From Zero, of course, quickly became a bestseller on Amazon. That's no surprise. Welcome to Heartrepreneur Radio and TV, Dane. Yeah, here to serve. Thank you. I can tell you're here to serve. I'm really glad to be with you. So first... I'm so curious, like, how did you get down this path of even being an entrepreneur to begin with? Uh, forget that a serial entrepreneur. Well, just failing at everything else, mm -hmm. failing at employee, failing at, failing at employees, failing at life, failing at school, failing with friends. <laughs> Couldn't get any of that figured out. Then I went ahead and landed on entrepreneurship and I just felt an instant sense of belonging. Wow. That's just interesting. With myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like internal. Mm -hmm. mm. I can yeah. relate to that because I was an employee. I was president of a national healthcare company and I was a horrible employee. <laughs> I was terrible. They loved me, but they also hated me because I constantly had ideas and suggestions and nobody really wanted them. <laughs> wow. So it's kind of interesting. So what was your first venture? First venture was a guitar video lesson website. Wow. When, and what made you come up with that? You just happened to play guitar or what was it? Well, I suffered from what most entrepreneurs suffer, which is if you think you have the capability for something, then you should sell it. Mm -hmm. um, and I had, a, I had a guitar teacher who was like a Berkeley graduate. And so I was like, hey, you want to teach some guitar video lessons? And he said, sure. So I put a camera in front of him and we tried recording and selling some guitar video lessons. Interesting. Well, so how did that work out out of curiosity? Well, we pivoted it a bunch of times. I ended up creating a pretty innovative, pretty innovative player for people to learn guitar. Okay. And it was fascinating. It was, I, I, I had, a, I hired a, a they're actually everything about that business was pretty solid except for the idea itself the process, <laughs> the process i used to start it was um incredibly like i'm as reflecting back on it it's, it's very very wise of me at the time to do it um because my whole philosophy with business is you find the clear customer you figure out the very clear result they want first before you do anything else and then you use a mechanism to deliver the result. Customer result mechanism. Holy grail of business, in my opinion. Outsource the mechanism. Outsource okay. the mechanism. Don't, don't build the mechanism yourself. Ooh. And um, so when I say I suffered from, you know, what most entrepreneurs suffer from is we do mechanism first thinking instead of customer first thinking. And it's, uh, 
you know, Bezos and Amazon, they're number one in the world for a reason because their first value, right? It's called customer obsession, but it's one thing to say it and another to see how you actually live it. Yes. So what I did, but everything I did with that business was mechanism first, but the, the player itself that taught you, um, we had sales and we had people that buy it and we had testimonials and we had customers who loved us for it. The thing is you can't really sell those for very much money. So it's really hard to advertise and make break even or even, even make a profit. But the way we had it is I sat down on the camera in front of him. It's like, all right, just here you go. And he recorded for like an hour and then I got it back and I was like, this ain't going to work. But I brought him back the camera and I, I was like, all right, do this and this and this and this. And he recorded that and got it back. It's like, this ain't that cool either. Um, then I said, okay, let's do with songs. All right, let's do Jimi Hendrix, The Wind Cries Mary. Teach us oh. how to play that. And so he plays it once at full speed and then he plays it once at slow speed. Mm -hmm. And then he play, and then he has one two minute video on the theory behind the song. So now we have a flash player, Macromedia flash was back in 2006. Yeah. So it would have the video and then I have a guitar and, it, and we'd, I'd break up the video into intro, verse, chorus, bridge. So you could click on verse, you could click on slow motion and you could um, see the tab and him playing slow beneath it. And yeah. you, could pick up, you could pick up a song in record time. Um, and you could do it without a lot of thought. Um, and so like these guys that would like, like, you know, fathers that had families and their brains were fried at the end of the day, but they wanted to play guitar so bad, didn't have the mental resources to study tabs and create all this, use the, the fresh mind to create those new neural circuitry. But if you had a, someone going boom, 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 and the tab right, right underneath it. Your brain can learn guitar pretty quick. Wow. So it's pretty cool. I mean, so, so if you look at that, I outsource the mechanism to the guitar teacher. I outsource the flash player to a programmer. Um, and you know, I we had a camera that I I didn't have a camera, so I I borrowed and rented that from the local local college university. We rented a really high def camera, plugged it into the back of my computer had the tape go into the hard drive. Then I'd go in and edit. I'd like, I'm like, I have no idea how to edit. So I had to learn that. And I had no idea how to compress the video correctly. So it'd be the right file size. And like, so I'd have to literally like test five to 10 different compression settings and just to get that right. And, um, but it was pretty fun. Cause you know, if someone typed in Google, Jimi Hendrix guitar tab, we could have our Google ad that would come up and say, are you looking for a guitar tab? Try a video tab instead. Wow. And, you know, wow. everything was pretty cool, except, you know, you can make the same amount. Um, the only difference between making a dollar and a hundred dollars is usually the idea. Um, mm -hmm. Everything else is the same amount of work. You still got to create the product. You still got to promote market the product. You still got to do customer support. But the difference between one and a hundred is uh, usually the idea. So I did an idea I was less passionate about after that. Um, it was a recruiting website for real estate companies. Okay. Um, but it felt the, it felt so much better to have a customer value something. If you have any challenges in your business and you want some business advice and help, we're here to do a customized blueprint to help you overcome your biggest business challenge. Send an email right now to Terry, T-E-R-R-I at Terry Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E, -E, and we will tell you how to get your customized business blueprint. We are truly here to help you. Mm. More mm -hmm. than to like try and make my passion work. Mm -hmm. And then I started to become extremely passionate about what other people found valuable. Mm -hmm. And then, then I was like, what do you find valuable? And now today, like, for example, one day, like one day this year with one of my companies, we, uh, we made like say $9,000 in a day. And that would be, um, there were $3,000 sales. So we acquired three customers for that program. Mm -hmm. And that program teaches people, for example, how to quit their job quickly and do customer acquisition, um, for other businesses using Facebook advertising. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very lucrative. I mean, you can, it's incredible. Um, it's probably the best business I think I can, I, best business I see right now is to do a customer acquisition business of some kind for another business, especially if it's a high, like if you're doing it for LASIK surgeons, 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, and you get them 10 new patients a month and each one's 40 grand or each four grand, it's 40 grand a month. You're driving to a LASIK surgeon. You can usually take like a 10% cut of that. And with one client, Easy. you're making four grand a month and you could get 10 of those around the country and you could have a $40,000 per month business. Well, um, it's not, it's, it's not that hard to, cause you don't have to figure out product. You don't, you just focus on selling and selling is the most important aspect in, in, in business. The product is like the tiniest sliver. And then the selling system around it is really, really big because if you think about it, like, I don't think people understand this. We go, we go mechanism first. We do mechanism first thinking. And that's uh, kind of the thing I think we suffer from really. Mm. Um, and it's conditioned, it's conditioned into us historically. It's like, if you even ask like, how did Rockefeller make his money? They speak of his mechanism, oh, oil. Well, no, there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men that were all in oil. Mm -hmm. That's not why Rockefeller got rich, not because he went in oil. He, he had a different way. It was how he went about it. Like it, it was, it's, it wasn't the mechanism that made Rockefeller. If Rockefeller was born today, you would slaughter people. Mm -hmm. like he, would, he would do so good. It had nothing to do with his idea. I mean, the idea helped. The idea, the timing and the idea helped him reach billion. There was a guy that did a study of startup success and he found the number one factor was actually the timing of the idea. For example, like YouTube came out right as broadband hit, right yeah. as co video codec compression hit and poof, and it exploded because the timing was right. Because Mark Cuban, the founder of, or the owner of the Mavericks, he started, he tried to create video um, like, I don't know, maybe 10 years or something before YouTube and it didn't do very well, but Yahoo still bought it for like a billion in stock options or whatever. <laughs> But anyway, mechanism first thinking. So you go back to that guitar thing. I would run, I would, I'd be able to sell a guitar video lesson for $5. It was a really, really, really damn cool product. Excuse my language. No, that's fine. <laughs> really darn cool product. But um, once I started shifting from to what um, I'm passionate about to what people value, um, I started to become very addicted in a positive way mostly positive, I think, to the process, <laughs> the process of creation. Mm. And, and, and so, you know, I've got, so my biggest business right now, um, and it's big to me, but it may not be big to other people, but it, it's, um, it's about $2 million per year. But the way that the money's made is really, really, really amazing. Um, because but before you go there, let me oh, go sure. back and just make a couple okay. of points because you have so many gems. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so good. we're going to talk about that business. First, I want the viewers and the listeners to really get mechanism first. That was one of the key points that I heard. Yes, of course, it's customer result mechanism first. The importance of having a system, a process, a selling system, and the timing of the idea, an idea that people mm -hmm. value and an idea that you're also passionate with. Did I sum that up pretty well, Dane? Yeah, so the idea you're passionate about, that's the dangerous territory. Cause that's mechanism first thinking. So thank you for repeating, thank you for repeating it. Cause like I was re like, I was really passionate about guitar. Like mm. they say you need to be passionate, but one of my businesses was called client lunchbox. And I was so passionate about that. Didn't save it for, didn't save it for, and it was, <laughs> is, you know, your passion about your idea does not, in my opinion, it, it doesn't, it's dangerous territory. It's not that black and white, but it's dangerous territory. Um, all the passion in the world can't save an idea of a customer just doesn't value it. And you need to, you need a customer to value it in an automatic way, the same way that when you see an attractive man or a man that meets your criteria, it triggers something in your brain. You're like, Oh, I am drawn to that man. Mm. You, didn't, you didn't choose to do that. Yeah. That was in your brain boom, and it fired. When you can find that in a person where they're like, Oh yeah, definitely. I would buy that. And it hits that. It hits that thing. That's what you're looking for. That's hard to find. And when you find it, oh, it's it is it is it's heaven on earth. It's heaven on earth to to have a business where you mention the thing to someone and they're like, "How do I get that?" Okay. Versus, that, yeah. oh, that's really nice. So that so it's not an idea you're passionate about. It's shifting from mechanism first thinking to what do people actually really value. Perfect. And if if you go into, um, and, and more more importantly, what result do they want? If you go on, like somebody was trying to start an Amazon store and he was struggling for a long time. And when I showed him, he was stuck in mechanism first thinking. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because he what's mechan what would what would a mechanism first thinking and approach look like with starting an Amazon store? Well, it'd be like, all right, what product can I sell? Of course. What products are selling? What product isn't competitive? Um, what should my price be? How can I source the product? That's all like you're, you're just basically spending all your mental resource on mechanism first thinking. If you want to sell on Amazon, what if, for example, you shifted your attention to people over 50 years old and you started talking to them and you asked them, hey, so what are the things that you're starting to think about more and more as you um, mm-hmm. enter, into the, enter into the realm of 50s? Oh, I think about this. And then, what are some things that you have crippling fear around? Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. And then like the crippling fear, that's an incredible question because there is so much opportunity to sell around that. And the interesting thing is um, if, if we have crippling fear around something, we may not even like even be able to even talk about it, let alone address it. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, um, in, in, uh, and so in our, in our industry, when in teaching entrepreneurship, um, we've got, so I've got a chart called the four growth levels of an entrepreneur that we've created. And it's got from beginner to minor to major to all-star. Is your business struggling? You want more leads. You want to convert leads more easily. You want more revenues, more profits. Whatever your biggest business challenge is, we're here to help you. We have a proprietary proven process that's guaranteed here at Heartrepreneur to help you increase your revenues and profits. And we have the ability to help you overcome your biggest business challenge. Simply send us an email to Terry, T-E-R-R-I, at Terry Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E dot com. And we will show you how we can help you overcome your biggest business problem by doing a customized blueprint just for you. Whatever your problem or challenge is, stop struggling, stop the frustration. Let us help you so that you can have more money more freedom, and more free time in your business. Do it now. Send the email now. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And and it's, um, if you look at it, you can start to reorient your attention towards living in the all-star category because the the mind, if left to its own devices, can be quite faulty. So we need to, we need to know that. And, and, and like, for example, the mind is an automatic relational. It's automatically relating to its environment all the time. Mm -hmm. So, if you're around five people, like, you know, the, the very famous quote, you become the average of the five persons you hang around with. Well, if you hang around with folks that are all doing $10 million a year, your brain will like, if, if it well, first off, if, if you have like no interest in ever doing anything like that, or you have like self-esteem issues come up, you're like, I just don't like being around these people. Cause like, yeah. they don't really talk about their problems. They take full responsibility for their life. Um, they don't blame people. Um, Cause you can't really blame people and get to a $10 million per year business. I mean, you might, you know, have your blind spots, but beginner, minor, major, all-star for selling the beginner is thinks sell, uh, thinks of selling negatively. The minor leaguer thinks of selling with fear, ah, afraid of selling the mm-hmm. major leaguer thinks selling is fun. And then the all-star sees selling as noble. Mm-hmm. And so, Oh, I like that. Yeah. So the, um, once you are like, oh, wow, selling is noble. So like now you got to look at, and without any blame or fault of yourself, you look at what is my unconscious really think about selling? And then you're like, ah, oh, it does it not like it. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I can track certain parts that like I still work on it. There's certain parts of me that see selling as negative. Like I want people to like me. You don't sell, don't sell. You know, and if I let that, if I believe that instead of notice it as a thought that can really cripple me. So for example, in my industry of entrepreneurship, people are really, really afraid. Many people are very afraid of the word selling. So interestingly enough, like I'm letting myself be surprised. So I'm like, hey man, well, what if I help you build a selling system? He's like, ah, I don't know about that. I don't want a selling system. I was like, what about if I helped you build a client alignment system? And he's like, oh, I really want to talk about yes. <laughs> like, it, it hit his brain. He had that automatic, like if he saw a woman that met his criteria for attraction, trigger, uh-huh. blind alignment. Lo and behold, I was talking to another more new agey type massage therapist gal. And I was like mentioning client alignment system. She said, I really like that. And so mm-hmm. like, I'm just kind of slotting it away in my brain. And I'm like, hmm, okay, a client alignment system instead of a selling system. Now I've got a whole new niche market of I don't go after the people that want to learn how to sell. Right. I go after the people that are afraid to sell that are super triggered by the word selling and I call it client alignment system. Great shift. Um, That's and 
Yeah. And um, so when you buy my book, if you do buy the book, if it resonates with you. you don't Where do we it. get the book? Start from zero. Um, well, if I'd love to give, I don't want people to buy it unless they know they would like it. So um, uh, do start from zero.com forward slash five, F-I-V-E. Okay. And you can get a free excerpt, no email capture at all. Oh, you that's get, awesome. Yes, you get the excerpt. It's a five page excerpt and it gives you the five question process to find out what people value, to find out the product they want and to find out how much they pay for it. Uh, wow. You, yeah, you do that five question process and you can see how I did it with someone in there. Um, and it, it, I actually did it with my girlfriend in there. You can see it and you can watch the five question process in action. You can see the idea I found with her, how I'd market it, how I'd promote it. If you like that, then get the book, start from zero.com forward slash five. But now, so if you buy the book, there's a bunch of invitations to go look at bonus material in the book. Um, like that four growth levels, the beginner, oh, main, or I know I want that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So when you, when, if in the, inside the book, there's a bonus URL. And when you go there, you can get all the bonuses. Again, no email capture required. Beautiful. I'm, try, I'm trying, I'm trying. And, and I have a, I have a love hate relationship with that. Cause it's like, I want to lead with generosity. And I'm like, I wonder how many emails I'm missing out on. But then I think about it when I do forced, when I, when someone does forced email capture on me, I may give my email, but I'm not usually opening your emails after it. I've just got the good. Yeah. I don't, so I'm, like, I'm trying to think about like, I'm like, cause we're shifting to 2020. It's a little bit of a different time anyway. Um, so there's no email capture for the bonuses, but there are options to give your email if you want that kind of relationship with us. Now, mm -hmm. the thing is when you go to the bonus page, you can find the four growth levels and we have this beautifully designed chart. It looks gorgeous. It's really, really, really attractive looking. We've got, um, a, a, a printout of the, the, the planter brain. Um, there's a four buildable brains, the surveyor, the tiller, the planter, the gardener, the Ooh. surveyor surveys the land, the tiller tills up the land, the planter plants, the plants, the gardener grows that most entrepreneurs only have one, two, three of those things. And they're still mm -hmm. successful. That's how powerful they are. If you get all four, it's insane what you can do. Surveyors like, you know, finding your niche market or finding where you build your business and then you till it anyway. Um, the planter brain is brain number three, the books, seven learning adventures, um, learning adventure four is the four buildable brains. It's a really pleasurable reading experience and you can print off the planter brain and the planter brain uh, is just a beautiful chart as well. But now in the four growth levels, you can get that. Now on that page, we have an offer and there's an offer to buy something at the top of the page and the bottom of the page in between all the bonuses. Okay. Now I was really stressing out about what to offer because <laughs> I, I know we need to offer something because I, you know, I make like four bucks or something if a book sells. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can't really run any, because the ultimate, the holy grail in business is to be able to pay money to acquire your own customers and to break even really quickly right away and if maybe make a little money. But if you can pay for ads and then break even right away on those ads, you can now scale your company That's and acquire right. customers for free and on the back end, make millions and millions of dollars. That way you're not needy. Yep. That, like, cause like you want to end your neediness. Like, Oh, do you want to promote my book or do you want to promote my business? If you can think about a clear customer, a clear result and a clear mechanism, now you can go and lead out into a marketplace and bring your voice to the business world confidently. Yeah. That's the Holy Grail. So I need a product that people will buy that will allow me to pay money to advertise my book. So I'm sitting there and it's pretty stressful. It's like three weeks. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world am I going to sell? And I saw, so you know, my ego gets triggered and I'm like, well, I got to look good. So it's got to be this. And then, okay, no, I want to make a lot of money with this so I can spend more money on ads. And it's like, oh, no, 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 no. I need to do something useful. For and that, for some reason, that just brings tears to my eyes and like, it's just much, much more vulnerable versus like, how can I dress something up to be so impressive people buy it versus I just should make something useful. Oh, I love this. So um, what would be useful? Mm -hmm. And because I've been in this industry for like seven years and I have a track on things, there's um, people have a really big, difficult time with selling. In fact, it's crippling fear. Yeah. So um, I have all these assets that we built over the years. And one of them, which is I interviewed eight entrepreneurs that were students of mine who got their first sale. And we go into detail on how they got their very first sale. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. I love so, that. So on the above and the bottom, we have, um, would you like to see how eight timid entrepreneurs 
transformed and got their first sales, including okay. their emails, spreadsheets, and scripts. And that we, is a crazy bonus, by the way. And that would definitely- well, that, costs, that costs money. Whatever, that gets people's attention, that gets people interested and relating and saying, that's me also. Yes, I would like to like be a fly on the wall and see that, I'd pay for that for sure. So it's just $67. <laughs> Whatever, that's right. nothing, yeah. So, yeah, so, so you, like you're like, I want to, the automatic happens in the brain, right? Like that person that like walks by, like if we're in the woods and we hear a tree branch snap, we think predator. Our brain automatically does that. That's not personal. Fear fires, and then we try to make it personal, but our brain just wired to trigger fear. If a bear's in the woods and a, and a branch snaps, the bear's like, mm, yum, food towards the back. <laughs> it's true. Like, it's it. an automatic thing in the brain. We want to start learning how that brain works so we can, like, we like, we're like sitting there with, like, we don't get, like, we don't get to decide what works. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that's, that's, an, that's an adventure one. Adventure one is, okay, listen, you want to start a business? Here's the first thing I'm going to tell you. You don't get to decide what works. If you launch an ad, you don't get to decide if that works. So how many ads are you going to try? And, um, you know, one of my, I was listening to a talk once and a guy was trying to create, he created, he created a new sales funnel to sell something every week and he couldn't get anything to work. He's like, I'm going to do this until it works. Yes. Um, and yet the 10th week, he still had nothing. He was moving to a new house. He had some flashlights in his basement. So he told his brothers, like, just put these on, try and put a sales funnel for these flashlights. And they positioned them as survival flashlights. <laughs> so if someone attacks you, you could flash them in the eyes. Oh, wow. And they made $20 million. Oh so my these, gosh, you blown away. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, we don't get to decide what works, man. So just try a bunch of stuff. But at the same time, you, you want to just be aware of mechanism first thinking. So now, um, from timid to transformed. Um, and if you go down and scroll that page, the sales letter that sells it is maybe three pages long. The sales letter for pages that sold products I was more insecure about, maybe like 10 to 30 pages long. But someone's read my book. The trust is high. They come to the page. They just need the basic details. They go through that page and they see like a guy named Ashwin. He sold a grocery store a spreadsheet. How did he do that? Um, another guy, he sold an idea before it existed. How did he do that? Another gal, she makes 50 grand doing this strategy. See her spreadsheet. Perfect. Very useful. So now that's crippling fear. So now if we were to apply that to um, different industries, for, exa for example, um, there are um, people that own gerbils as a clear customer. And a clear result they, that many of these people that really love their gerbils is they just never want their gerbil to die. They want to be with it forever. Right. So the mechanism then um, could be a book on tips to increase the life of your gerbil. So um, this is actually a book that sold very well back in the day. And, um, you know, if you're looking for gerbil food or gerbil things, it's like, hey, tips to increase the life of your gerbil. They go and they read a few tips. Like, hey, if you want all the tips, get the book. Yeah. And he did very, very well with this. And um, he, even the table of contents and the chapter titles, he, they, they researched, they, they asked people like, what do you want to know about? Like, oh, I want to know what foods to eat. What time should they exercise? Like, so like they had all this stuff in the chapter. So then he, he had the title and then he had the chapters. Um, mm -hmm. And then he sent it out to, to book writers who are like authors who do research and write books and he outsourced the creation of that mechanism, that book. Mm -hmm. We have like danced so many places and unfortunately our time is running out. However, I want to make a couple of comments. Um, I'm blown away by how much information you have, how much value you create mm -hmm. just in this short interview. So I definitely will say to people, go to startfromzero.com backslash five, correct? Yeah, yeah. Forward slash, I think, but yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. Uh, I learned a ton and I'm really interested and you really resonate as someone who is heart-based and who, uh, you know, what, I, what I'm like walking away with that I have goosebumps from is mm. I really want to look at all my products and services and I, I know they're useful, but now I want to make them more instantaneously romantic. <laughs> That's what, like, I'm excited. I can hardly wait to start. Do, so Dr. Terry. Yes. Um, do we have 
time to go like five? I've got, I've got more time. Is this like a strict stop? Yeah, we have less than one minute, unfortunately. I wish okay. we had more. However, I would love to have you back because you have so many tips. Well, let's do uh, it back. You give me all your products. I'll help you make a more romantic live. We'll do it live. Wow, would that be cool? So let's schedule that and we'll go live and we'll go live also on Facebook um, and, and we'll do like something super cool. So yes. Heartrepreneur listeners, stay tuned. If you're not already part of the Facebook group, Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine, I highly suggest you join that today. Hopefully Dane will join us there quickly. And then I'm going to go live with Dane and we're going to actually dig into this so you can see how it works. Dane, you have been... I don't know. I just have goosebumps. You've been such an exciting guest. You have, you've shared so much value and let's get the live scheduled and let's continue to give people more value and let's start from zero. Thank I you. So can, I, can I just say one final thing? Yes. Entrepreneurship is a joy. Hmm. It is not a stress and it can be both, but if you're looking at it right and you've trained correctly, Doing a squat with a lot of weight can be very difficult if you haven't trained, but it can also be a great place of exhilaration if you've got the right form and you've done the training. Train entrepreneurship, discipline with entrepreneurship, build the brain structures for entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship can be a joy. Oh, what final great words. So thanks, entrepreneurs, for tuning in. Join us on Facebook at Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. I will be very soon going live with Dane, and I know it's going to be even more valuable. Until next time, we'll see you back at Heartrepreneur Radio, Heartrepreneur TV. You've been listening to Heartrepreneur Radio, maximizing your personal and business results by leading with your heart with your host, Terry Levine. This show is produced every week for your enjoyment and education. To make sure you never miss a single show, add us to your favorite RSS feed or subscribe in iTunes. You can also read Terry's latest blog posts at www.heartrepreneur.com slash blog. Or follow Terry on Twitter at Mentor Terry and on Facebook.com slash Heartrepreneur Terry Levine. Your questions and comments are always welcome and appreciated. Send them to Terry on either Facebook or Twitter. Thank you for listening.